My name is Adrian van Hooydonk. I'm responsible for design at BMW Group. And here at the Detroit Auto Show, uh, we are showing uh, for the first time uh, the new 6 Series, which of course for a BMW is a very important car. Uh, it has to be the perfect combination of sportiness and elegance. And the way we have expressed it in design, uh, I would like to uh, present to you now. Uh, first of all, uh, for a sporty and an elegant car, uh, we study the proportions of the car uh, for a very long time. And in the new 6 Series, uh, we've been able to improve the proportions uh, in comparison to the previous model, in the sense that uh, we have lengthened uh, the wheelbase, the car got a little bit longer, uh, so it got sleeker, uh, the car is a little bit lower, uh, but it will offer the same interior space as in the previous car, and then of course the rest is design, the shape. And uh, uh, while you are looking at the Cabrio now, or convertible, uh, you will already notice uh, that the car has an extremely long hood. Uh, this is typical uh, for the BMW brand. Uh, it shows or highlights the fact that we have these uh, six-cylinder inline motors. Of course, there's also a choice of something more powerful. Um, and then uh, we have um, some uh, very strong uh, feature lines here that incorporate uh, the door handle. Uh, that moves up uh, towards the rear, over the um, uh, rear wheel. And the rear wheel uh, is emphasized by this very strong and muscular uh, wheel arch, as well as a very strong shoulder. The front of uh, any BMW, of course, first of all, uh, needs to be recognizable as a BMW, as part of our brand. And the 6 Series clearly does this. Uh, by the very recognizable, almost iconic uh, kidney-shaped grille. And then, of course, the double round headlamps, which are cut off at the top um, by an illuminated uh, eyebrow, if you will. Uh, but not only that, the car is clearly recognizable as a BMW. It also, I think, uh, emphasizes the fact that it's a very sporty kind of BMW. Uh, and we do this by uh, making this kidney-shaped grille very wide uh, and is positioned very low in the vehicle. Uh, the headlamps uh, are as flat uh, as they possibly can be and the double round headlamps uh, have these uh, so-called corona links, uh, rings uh, that also incorporate daytime running lamps. Uh, the lower bumper then of course uh, emphasizes the sportiness by the fact that it uh, needs to take a lot of air in and you see that uh, by the sheer dimension uh, of the air intake but it also offers nice details like this chrome element um, that uh, en enhances the elegance of the car. Uh, and uh, these little lips down there uh, in the lower bumper fulfill an aerodynamic function which is also necessary for a car uh, with this much power. Looking at the back of the new 6 Series, I think you'll find uh, that uh, this side exudes sportiness. Of course, it has to be that way. It is a very sporty and elegant car. In the rear view, um, in the design, we are expressing this sportiness by emphasizing the width of the vehicle. I already mentioned uh, the strongly sculpted wheel arches and the strong shoulder, which of course adds muscle. Uh, the tail lamps uh, are done in a way that they are as flat, as low and as wide as they possibly can be. And this all uh, highlights the width of the car. Of course you know uh, that it's not so easy to do a convertible uh, with a rear deck that is as low and as flat as, as this one. Um, then there is a host of nice little details like um, uh, the light bars uh, in the tail lamps that will make the car recognizable as a BMW 6 Series even at night. Of course the exhausts uh, offer a sporty note uh, and then most of the line work is done in a way again to emphasize the width of the car. All in all, uh, I believe the 6 Series is the perfect combination of elegance and sportiness. Um, you have to look at the car uh, with the top up actually also to appreciate the side profile, uh, which is uh, as sleek uh, as uh, a coupe would be. In the interior of the car, um, there's two things that I think uh, immediately uh, come into view. First of all, the elegance of the lines coming from the dashboard flowing into the door flowing further even behind the rear passengers. That's uh, an indication of elegance. Second thing I think that is uh, clearly visible is the driver orientation. When you take place behind the steering wheel of the new 6 Series, you feel enveloped by the whole car and all the, the instruments and um, uh, all the switch gear. 
Uh, driver orientation is typical for BMW. Our cars are designed and built for people that love to drive, and we know it. Uh, so that's why uh, we want to make sure that the driver feels completely in control uh, of this quite complex machine. Um, but as you see uh, here in the dashboard, uh, with the lines coming down in the center console, we've done it in a way which I believe is also very, very elegant. One interesting innovation in the interior is the fact that uh, the navigation display is now designed in a way to resemble a flat screen TV. Uh, and that's what you see in the middle right there. It's also bigger than it ever has been before. So uh, also things like uh, music playlists or, or internet, TV, all these functions can be uh, viewed at this uh, magnificent screen.